The means procedure is used to analyze continuous variables. Just like the explore procedure, it works with continuous dependent variables and categorical independent variables. However, unlike explore, the means procedure allows us to enter the independent variables by layers, so it can generate some reports that the explore procedure cannot. Let's go to the employee data file again. The student who is not yet familiar with it should revise the previous lessons. Let's suppose we need to generate a report with the main statistical matrix for the variable salary, current salary, broken down by gender and employment category. More precisely, we need the matrix for the following five subgroups. Clerical male, clerical female, custodial male, manager male, and manager female. I have excluded the custodial female group because we already know that we don't have any members in this group. We cannot solve this problem with the explore procedure because it generates the statistics separately for the two independent variables, as we mentioned in the previous lesson. Therefore, we need the means procedure. To find the means procedure, we must go here, analyze, compare means, means. In this window dependent list, I will enter the current salary. And here, in the independent list window, we have to introduce our factors, but separately by layers. So in the first layer, I will enter the gender. Now I click the next button to activate the second layer. And here I enter the employment category. OK. With these two buttons, previous and next, I can navigate between layers. Now let's click the Options button. Here we can select the statistical indicators we want to be computed. In this window, Cell Statistics, there are already three indicators by default, mean, number of cases, and standard deviation. For the sake of example, let's introduce a few more. Let's say minimum, maximum, and variance. That's enough. Now we can click Continue, and since everything is set up, we can click OK to get the output. That's the main output table. Here we can find all the information we required. In the first row, we can find the statistical indicators for the female group broken down by clerical and manager groups. In the second row, we can find the same indicators for the male group broken down by clerical, custodial and manager, while in the last row here, we can find the statistical indicators for the whole sample of employees also broken down by clerical, custodial, manager. So, in this table, we can do all kind of comparisons between our groups depending on our research goals.